It's time to get creative with Cassie. Welcome to my paper studio. Today we're going to be doing another kind of crafting by the seat of our pants, craft and chat type of thing. I'm still working in this neutral, grungy kind of journal and I brought along some different elements today. So I have in here some different tags, a library card because I like to start my books out with one of those. I've got a couple of time cards, guest checks, some of our little mini window envelopes, some of our glossy bags that we've made, and then I've got like some rub-ons. And then I went ahead and I didn't think I was going to use it, but I thought I was just going to use the ephemera. But I did print out her um, her papers, the decorative papers. Now this is a kit by uh, My Porch Prints called Vintage Men or something like that. And in the last video I showed you all the ephemera I cut out for it. But I figured I could use some of this to rip and layer in that. So I've printed these off. There's just a few of them, but they're so cool. I love that page. I love that page too. And that one. I like them all. I really do. So. And then there's that one. So, I also have a stack of freshly dyed coffee paper. So we're just going to play and decorate up a few of these items and see what happens. So set those aside. Let's see, what do we want to do? Let's start with um da -dum 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 -da -dum -dum. I want to start with that. So this stuff I'm just going to put in my bucket with my ephemera, keep it all together there. With this, first thing, I'm going to go in with some ink first, and we'll just go from there and decorate. So I hope everybody is doing well today, I hope you're all able to get in a few minutes of crafting. My sponge is starting to fall apart. I'm just using the Distress Ink and Vintage Photo. And uh, we'll probably end up, well, no, we won't stitch around this one. We'll just leave this one as is. If y'all watch my channel at all, you'll know that I'm like the queen of stitching. I love to sew and stitch on my stuff, but, okay, I think I'm going to grab my Rip Ruler, and I just use this Tear Guide by uh, We Are Memory Keepers, and just going to rip it, and then... We'll give it a little rip at the top because I don't want it to be perfect. And then we will rip it right there like so. That was a bad rip. Let's try that again by just, there we go. There we go. And then I think we'll just glue this on like so. You can use glue stick or art glitter glue. I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. Maybe I'm going to use my art glitter glue. There we go. 
that's better. Oh shoot, I should have inked it. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna leave this with just a little bit showing at the top and the side there. Okay, and then let's see. There's not a whole lot of like fussy cuts. Um, well, there wasn't any fussy cuts except for like these. Um, let's put one of our whale tails on here. I think that'll look nice. And then I think we'll stick a number from our rub-ons on here. going to ink the back a little bit. There goes that darn furnace again. Okay. I'm going to put the lighter side on the front. Ooh. And we'll just yeah, we'll just line it up somewhat in the middle. Why not? And then I got these at like a second, not a second hand store, but like a, a warehouse type store that um, gets like damaged goods and stuff in. I'm going to put some washi tape on here though. And for the washi tape, I do want my glue stick. washi down and let's see let's add some of this just a smaller amount of it okie doke and now let us pick a number I like this five that's right here I think I'm going to put it right there and grab something to press down on it with. But anyway, uh, these originally came from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they still carry them or not, but um, I got them at a warehouse um, they get like damaged goods and things like that in or like overstock items and such okay this is a little too white so I'm gonna ink it up a little bit perfect okay so now this can go in one of our pockets. Stick it up there, I guess, for now. Okay, moving on to the next item. Let's do. I'm not very good at doing guest checks, so let's play with those. Oh my gosh, we need some temples people. For this don't we we sure do okay I'm gonna ink around these so let me know in the description down below do you guys like watching the entire process even if there are some moments like right now of you know well it could be silent if I weren't running my mouth but um like do you like it when people 
go silent for a second or two and ink something or whatever? Do you like seeing the whole process or would you rather um, see that like sped up or cut out of the video completely? So let me down below, let me know down below in the comment section uh, how you guys feel about that. Okay, let's see here. I've got some stencils and I think some stenciling would be nice. I've got this brick stencil that we can use and then let's see here. I've also got like a coffee dye one that I made. So we'll see what we can come up with with those. So for the stencils, I like to use my brush. So let me get my brush. Everything's in my way. lid back on our glue. Okay, so when you're stenciling like this, I don't know, this ain't really like a tutorial or anything, but it could be. Don't do the whole thing. Just do parts of it. So like, that moved on me, but just do like bits and pieces because you're going to cover a lot of it up anyway. So there's that one. Now let's do some coffee staining on this other one. I need to dig out my other Tim Holtz one that has the coffee stains on it. I think his are better than mine. I made these on the Cricut when I had my Cricut. I no longer have it, so I can't make stencils anymore, but it's okie baby. Maybe I'll kind of lap this one in here like so. Okay, good enough. Set those aside. Uh, let's do some script stamp in the background. Get my stamping blocks. And let's find a scripty stamp. That's a scripty stamp. Okay. I think we'll just go with that one. We need our stains on. Put this stuff back. Okay. Oh my goodness, why didn't you guys yell at me and tell me to cover my ink? It's okay. I forgive you. I just want some extra paper down here so I'm not stamping on my my stuff. Okay. Do the same thing on this one. Just a little stamp stamp. Little stamp stamp. Okay. 
So what I'm doing is I'm just building layers at the moment and just doing like the background. So I'll flip that over. So we've got this. Now let's do we have another piece of this somewhere. Let me find it. At least we should have another piece of it somewhere. Oops, and I just dropped a bunch of stuff on the floor. Go figure. I thought I had another piece of this. But I don't know where it went. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, where's my scissors? Found my scissors. I'm going to use this piece right here. And we'll just kind of hmm, put it in the corner. And this is a rub-on as well. It's a different kind of rub-on. I have no idea where it came from. Or is it a sticker? Oh, it's a sticker. But I'm not sure where it came from. But it's kind of cool. And I like it. So I want to take the three from this one. I guess since it's a sticker, I'll nicely cut it out or attempt to. Okay, now let's see if we can get the backing off. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to just stick this down here. There. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm liking it so far. Okay. So now we can layer something in the background, like paper or something, because we have our base done. So we could use book page, or you know, we could use paper from the kit, which I think is what I'm going to do, but I don't want to use the same piece. I want something a little bit lighter, I think. Let's go for some of this. And I'm just going to rip it. Straight down like so. And then I want a little bit of an organic look. And yes, we're going to cover some of what we've done. I think I want this a little thinner. I kind of like that. Okay, let's ink the edges. I hope these turn out pretty cool. I'm not the greatest when it comes to like um, the altered guest checks and the altered playing cards or Rolodex. Those are like the three hardest things for me and I don't know why. You just gotta like, I don't know, go at it like you do anything else, but they've always been difficult for me for some reason. What do you guys find hard uh, when you're doing your junk journals? Do you find the ephemera the hardest or putting the journal together itself or 
a certain part of the ephemera, like the guest checks or whatever. Okay, so we've got that on there. Now let's get a piece for here. And I think I just want to come down to like there. I think I'm just going to glue that right on there. Oh no, I forgot to ink. right there and then I'll trim it off hey okay. all the garbage out of the way who made this mess my goodness. Okay, now I think these need some temple people. So let's see what we got. Oh, Daddy and her little and his little girls. I seem to use up the guys pretty quickly. There's some brothers, looks like, or some friends. We might do them. Aw, look at the doggy. This ain't supposed to be here. But they'd have to be setting on something, and I don't have anything for them to set on right now. So, keep looking, keep looking. Is that it? Oh, we've got some big faces back here. I don't want none of the big, big faces. Let's see what we got in this book. want him on this one and then put the boys on this one maybe sure why not okay I'm gonna use my pokey tool there's a couple little things in here that shouldn't be there Just poke those right on out Now, what should we do? I think this guy is going to need a tab up here. So, let's find us a tab. Let's go with... Doo -doo -doo. Let's go with this one. some ink. You know, as my friend says, ink before you stink. That'd be JJ with Joy, by the way. She's linked down below. She always is. Because that's also where you can find me on Facebook, is at JJ with Joy. So, if you're ever looking for me on Facebook or want to see more of my work, even though I don't post a whole lot of work in that group, um, but I'm there. So, anyway, that's where you can find me and a lot of stuff. I help her kind of run her group a little bit and 
I'm there to watch things when she goes on vacation and stuff like that, so. Okay, I'm really liking this one. Except for I really don't like how I can see that line right there. But we can fix that. Let's use some washi tape. Well, thank goodness the furnace turned off. You guys can probably hear me so much better now. Okay. And to make it look like that's not just randomly placed there, or that it is randomly placed there, let's go ahead and stick another piece down here over this perforation. That'll also help hold that together. And then, I think we'll just stick our boys on here. And then maybe find a word or something. We need like a manly word, like mechanic. Or something like that. Wee! Okay. And we'll make them stand on the washi. Because my friend says they always are supposed to be standing on something. And I agree, they should be. Okay, let's put some washi on this one. I'm going to go with this like graph washi. So, goodness. Okay, we'll put this here to cover up that perforation. And then, you know, I only put it in two spots on there and I should have put it in three because that's the rule, right? You guys haven't ever heard of that it's like the odd rule um, to make things look more cohesive or whatever you do it in three five seven so anyway it just kind of helps your eye focus around the page or the piece of ephemera better so We'll do that and then we'll put this guy here. He's a handsome feller. Should we put him more over here? No, I like him in the middle. We'll put him in the middle. I need to buy me some more Tim Holtz people. I'm running out. Especially of the guys. I use the guys like crazy. I don't know why. I want to get um, Tim Holtz's new set of people that has like the houses and the cars in it. I think those cars and houses are so cool. He needs to make just like, like he makes the paper dolls. He needs to make just a pack full of houses and cars. I think that'd be really cool. And I think they'd be a really big seller for him too. Okay, so I'm looking at these and I'm thinking that this one might need a tab too, just because. So let's ink up this. And do we want it over here or should we put it over here? I think I like it over here. Same place as that one. Okay. Stick this right on there with that art glitter and glue, so make sure you get it placed how you want it. Okay, so 
I didn't think I was going to sew around these, but I'm going to. So I'm going to take these to my sewing machine, do a stitch around it, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and I stitched around these and then I also picked out the words and inked around those and I've got some brads and I just kind of want to jazz these up a little bit by putting the brads on here and then um, gluing them down. I think they'll be cute. Alrighty, so there's that one. And then I'll do the same to this one. Do I want to put anything behind this, like a scrap of fabric or some fluffies or something? I think I want a scrap of fabric behind it or something. Oops, we don't want that guy sticking out. Okay, so let's find a piece of fabric. Well, there's this guy that we could use. And it's like almost the perfect length. We'll just use that. That was the easy choice. And then we can also put some ink on this to make it a little darker color as well. So, we'll just ink and ink. Just like that. And then, what we'll do, we'll take our fabric tack and then just glue these onto the fabric and then glue the fabric onto the tag or altered guest check is really what it's called okay and I'm just gonna do on the fabric behind where the label is because I don't want my glue to seep through and we're just gonna put that Bella right there. I like it. Okay, and we'll do the same thing with the other one. I'm trying to get the word center in the fabric as best I can from top to bottom. From side to side, it don't matter because it's like the exact same width almost as our word so again I'm gonna stay right on where that label is at because I don't want the glue to shine through I could put that up there or I could put it down here I'll just stick it up here all right I did get a little glue seeping out there, but that's okay. It's a junk journal, so it'd be all right, right? Okay, so I see right here there's like nothing. So I'm going to 
just ink in there a little bit. And the same right here. Okay. All right, I'm pretty happy with those and the way they turned out. And then there's all this journaling space on the back. So let's get our journal and then see where we want to put these. We've got a few pockets in here already, so let's see if we can put them in any of the pockets that we already have. Hmm. Where are the pockets? Well, that one's already filled. Oh, and speaking of this one, um, this tag here, I loved it so much, I had to make another one and it is actually right here so it's a little bit different than the first one if you watched my video and saw how I made this one I made this one the exact same way um, and I told you I wanted more of those tags because I loved them I went a little crazy and I have this whole stack of these tags and I plan on altering them all like this and just having so much fun with them because they're they're universal um you can use them with anything and any kit they'll fit right in so and that is again out of this kit that i'm using to decorate this book from uh, my porch prints so anyway back to this let's find that pocket here's a pocket so this could go back here or it could go here but it's way taller than the pocket so I think I'll just stick it in right there and then we'll find somewhere in the first signature for this other one where is that other pocket? So this pocket is in here like so. Oh, it, it will fit, but he doesn't stick out very well. I kind of want a postcard there. And there are a couple postcards in here. So let me just grab one and stick it there real quick so I know that that's what I want. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, that kind of sticks out far too, doesn't it? Hmm. Maybe we'll just have to put something else there, like one of the time cards or something. Let's see. Where's the time card? Here's a time card. Let's see how well that fits. Oh yeah, that'll fit in there, um, and it'll stick out the top, and I have an idea of what we can do with the top of that, but I'm going to leave that there, because I want that to go there, so we'll come back and do something with that. Hmm. Maybe we'll just stick this guy up front. Maybe he needs to be, oh, that's too tall. Hmm. Maybe he just needs clipped in somewhere. Like here, for example. Let's get one of these guys. This is one of those little Tim Holtz clippy deals. We're going to just clip him right here. If I can hold on to the clip. They're so tiny, but so fun. Okay, so we've got him in there. And then we did that in the last video. Those are really fun. I like how those turned out. And then we've got our other guy back here way in the back he's hanging out back here our our brothers so anyway uh, i can't see how long this has been
scoot you on over. It's been about 40 minutes, which is where I said I wanted my videos to be. So I think I'm going to call this one a video and be done. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you being here and watching my videos with me. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you would. I'm still trying to reach that thousand subscriber mark so I can go live and interact with each and every one of you. But until next time, guys, remember to make today your own and be creative. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.